हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कंडीशन फॉर प्रिपेंडिकुलरिटी एंड पैरमिजम फॉर टू गिवन लाइन्स वेन दी गिवन लाइन्स आर प्रिपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर देन एंगल बिटवीन देम इज नाइन्टी डिग्रीज That is, theta is equal to 90 degrees, which implies that the value of cos of theta, that is equal to cos of 90 degrees, is equal to zero. But cos of theta is given by l1 into l2 plus m1 into m2 plus m1 into m2. When the value of theta is equal to 90 degrees then we have cos of 90 degrees is equal to l1 into l2 plus m1 into m2 plus m1 into m2 which implies that cos of 90 degrees that is zero is equal to l1 into l2 plus m1 into m2 plus m1 into m2 which implies that L1 into L2 plus M1 into M2 plus L1 into M2 is equal to zero. Is the required condition? Of perpendicularity of two given lines. L1 M1 M1 and L2 M2 M2 are the direction cosines of the two given lines. Also, if A1 B1 C1 and A2 B2 C2 are the direction ratios of the two lines. then cos of angle theta is equal to plus minus of a1 into a2 plus b1 into b2 plus c1 into c2 upon square root of summation of a1 square into square root of summation of a2 square where Summation of a1 square is equal to a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square, and summation of a2 square is equal to a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. And if the value of theta is given as 90 degrees, then cos of angle theta that is 90 degrees. Is equal to zero. Therefore, cos of 90 degrees, which is equal to zero, is equal to plus minus a1 into a2 plus b1 into b2 plus c1 into c2 upon square root of summation of a1 square into square root of summation of a2 square, which implies that. Plus minus of a1 into a2 plus b1 into b2 plus c1 into c2 is equal to zero. That is, the value of a1 into a2 plus b1 into b2 plus c1 into c2 is equal to zero, which is also the condition of perpendicularity of two lines.
second you have when the given lines are parallel to each other that is the value of theta is equal to 0 degrees so sin of theta that is sin of 0 degrees is equal to 0 which implies that sin square of angle theta is equal to 0 we know that the value of sin square of theta is equal to 1 minus cos square of theta and cos of theta is given by L1 into L2 plus M1 into N2 plus M1 into N2 which implies that sin square of theta is equal to 1 minus cos square of theta that is L1 into L2 plus M1 into N2 plus M1 into N2 the whole square. On solving this we get sin square theta is equal to L1 into M2 minus of L2 into M1 the whole square plus M1 into N2 minus of M2 into M1 the whole square plus M1 into L2 minus of M2 into L1 the whole square sin square theta is equal to 0 implies that L1 into M2 minus of L2 into M1 the whole square plus M1 into N2 minus of M2 into N1 the whole square plus N1 into L2 minus of N2 into L1 the whole square is equal to 0 as sum of the squares of non-zero terms cannot be 0 Therefore, L1 into M2 minus of L2 into M1 is equal to 0. M1 into M2 minus of M2 into M1 is equal to 0. And M1 into L2 minus of M2 into L1 is equal to 0. L1 into M2 minus of L2 into M1 is equal to 0 implies that L1 into M2 is equal to L2 into M1. Similarly, M1 into M2 minus of M2 into M1 is equal to 0 implies that M1 into M2 is equal to M2 into M1 and M1 into L2 minus of M2 into L1 is equal to 0 implies that M1 into L2 is equal to M2 into L1 which further implies that L1 into M2 is equal to L2 into M1 can be written as L1 by L2 is equal to M1 by M2. Similarly, M1 into M2 is equal to M2 into M1 can be written as M1 by M2 is equal to M1 by M2 and M1 into L2 is equal to M2 into L1 can be written as M1 by M2 is equal to L1 by L2. Now, L1 by L2 is equal to M1 by M2. M1 by M2 is equal to L1 by M2. And M1 by M2 is equal to L1 by L2 implies that L1 by L2 is equal to M1 by M2 is equal to M1 by M2. Also, if a1, B1, C1 and A2, B2, C2 are the direction ratios of the two lines and as lines are parallel theta is equal to 0 degrees then we have sin of theta that is sin of 0 degrees is equal to 0 which implies that sin square of theta will also be equal to 0 now as we know that the value of sin square of theta is given by L1 into M2 minus of L2 into M1 the whole square plus M1 into N2 minus of N2 into N1 the whole square plus M1 into L2 minus of N2 into L1 the whole square and we know that the value of L1 is given by A1 upon square root of summation of A1 square 
एल वन इज इक्वल टू बी वन अपॉन स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ समेशन ऑफ ए वन स्क्वेयर एंड एल वन इज इक्वल टू सी वन अपॉन स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ समेशन ऑफ ए वन स्क्वेयर सिमिलरली एल टू इज इक्वल टू ए टू अपॉन स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ समेशन ऑफ ए टू स्क्वेयर एम टू इज इक्वल टू बी टू अपॉन स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ समेशन ऑफ ए टू स्क्वेयर एंड एम टू इज इक्वल टू सी टू अपॉन स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ समेशन ऑफ ए टू स्क्वेयर वे समेशन ऑफ ए वन स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू ए वन स्क्वेयर प्लस बी वन स्क्वेयर प्लस सी वन स्क्वेयर एंड समेशन ऑफ ए टू स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू ए टू स्क्वेयर प्लस बी टू स्क्वेयर प्लस सी टू स्क्वेयर वे एल वन एम वन एम वन एंड एल टू एम टू एम टू आर दी डिरेक्शन को साइंस ऑफ दी टू लाइन्स एंड ए वन बी वन सी वन एंड ए टू बी टू सी टू आर दी डिरेक्शन रेशोज ऑफ दी टू लाइन्स And then putting the values of L1, M1, N1, and L2, M2, N2 in this equation, we get A1 into B2 minus of A2 into B1 T whole square plus B1 into C2 minus of B2 into C1 T whole square plus C1 into A2 minus of C2 into A1 T whole square. Whole upon square root of summation of a one square into square root of summation of a two square is equal to zero, which implies that a one into b two minus of a two into b one b whole square plus b one into c two minus of b two into c one b whole square plus c one into a two Minus of c2 into a1 the whole square is equal to zero, and this is true if each term is equal to zero. Therefore, we have a1 into b2 minus of a2 into b1 is equal to zero. b1 into c2 minus of b2 into c1 is equal to zero, and c1 into a2 minus of c2 into a1 is equal to zero. Now a1 into b2 minus of a2 into b1 is equal to zero implies that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. Similarly, b1 into c2 minus of b2 into c1 is equal to zero implies that b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 and c1 into a2 minus of c2 into a1 is equal to zero implies that. C1 by C2 is equal to A1 by A2. Now we have A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2. B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2, and C1 by C2 is equal to A1 by A2, which implies that A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2, which is also a condition for parallelism. Let us take an example. Show that the lines joining A with the coordinates 10, 4, minus 6 to B with the coordinates 12 to 8, and C with the coordinates minus 6, minus 4, minus 2 to D with the coordinates minus 2, minus 8, 26 are parallel. Here we are given point A with the coordinates 10, 4, minus 6, and Point B with the coordinates 12 to 8. Then the direction ratios of line AB are given by 12 minus 10, that is 2. 2 minus 4, that is minus 2. 8 minus of minus 6, that is 14. So, the value of a1 is equal to 2, the value of b1 is equal to minus 2, and the value of c1 is equal to 14. Similarly, we are given point C with the coordinates minus 6, minus 4, minus 2, and 
पॉइंट डी विद दी कोऑर्डिनेट्स माइनस टू माइनस एट ट्वेंटी सिक्स देन दी डायरेक्शन रेशोस ऑफ लाइन सी डी आर गिवन बाय माइनस टू माइनस ऑफ माइनस सिक्स दैट इज फोर माइनस एट माइनस ऑफ माइनस फोर दैट इज माइनस फोर ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस ऑफ माइनस टू दैट इज ट्वेंटी एट सो ए टू इज इक्वल टू फोर बी टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर एंड सी टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट एंड वी नो दैट The condition for parallelism is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. Therefore, we have a1 by a2 that is 2 by 4, which is equal to 1 by 2. B1 by B2, which is equal to minus 2 by minus 4, will be equal to 1 by 2. And C1 by C2, that is 14 by 28, is also equal to 1 by 2. Now we have A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2. Therefore, we can say that the line AB is parallel to the line CD. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.